people, 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 people. Ke pa sa sa pa say what they do. First thing that is popping in the news, it is called This Might Be Kadisha and Raja Chang Part 2. Now, people, the other day, on the 21st of May to be specific, a very well known businessman, his name is Mr. Horace Randy, Mayor Randy being his pet name. He was found in his uptown house in Narbrook, taken out in a pool of red. D E A D, like a dog. Now, people, since that incident, it seems as if somebody some set of people are trying to keep it hush hush are trying to keep it swept under the rug however nationwide news is not one of those persons here is the details this man lives in narbrook in a development that has eight eight houses townhouses whatever it is whenever there's any sorts of development there's usually CCTV, Jamaica Eye, and even worse, the eyes upon the wall, the ears in the bushes. Uptown neighbors are usually even more curious because they want to make sure that their place is safe and secure from any sorts of riffraff. Now people, the family became very curious when they were calling him and they were not getting any sorts of answers. So they went by his apartment, his place, and sat there and they found the body. They summoned the popo. When the popo came, took away the body, modern, rete, lele, blue, blah, bling. Now people, here is the next thing. When they found his body in this pool of B L O O D, there were no sorts of spin shell. However, there were live rounds. So people, was this some sort of smoke screen? And remember, the neighbor said he or she saw some people and they were wondering who was having a party that was Friday. However, when they found the body on Saturday, the same person said if there was any sorts of loud E X P L O S I O N S. I would have heard. So people is either this man get juk juk up, or this man got taken out with some sorts of silence at all, silence a can, or it was muffled by some sort of pillow pillowcase, some sort of potato. People, me no know, all me know say something suspicious. Somebody is cooking up something. Something smells kind of fishy. Point blank and period. However, what is very strange is that the Popo themselves, Constant Spring Popo, Stephanie Lindsay, Communication Unit of the JCF, nobody has any sorts of information. Everybody is quite mum. Nobody seems to be answering their phone. So people, I am going to analyze this. Check this out. This man is said to be a developer. When the owner of the property, meaning where he was renting, was contacted, she said, In 36 years, I have never seen anything, nobody thief anything, no sorts of crime. And if you check back a hundred years from now, more than likely there won't be anything meaning that this place is pretty much safe and secure. Fort Knox kind of ish. Now people, this man is a developer. That means he builds house for other persons. He is a contractor. He builds houses for other companies. So therefore, why is this man renting? Wouldn't somebody like this own his own property or properties? More than one, multiple, yes, people. However, more than likely, in my humble estimation, in my psychoanalysis of what is going on here, 
more than likely this is his ramping shop. This is where he takes his little joy and have fun, meaning his side chick, meaning his riffraff that he does not want his family, wife and kids to know about, in my humble estimation. Truth be told, if you are a businessman, a developer, you are not going to rent, you are going to own your own because you have the option to buy, you have the money to buy and you have the know-how. However, sometimes a lot of these business people, they work very hard and then they find excitement out of the home, extracurricular activity with some sort of person from the garrison, some sort of person in which the family might look down on and obviously the wife is not going to be very happy. So therefore, he might have one little ramping shop. So people, that is why I said this kind of reminds me of the Kedisha and Raja Chang, be though the details are definitely different. However, what we have here is somebody that pick up somebody that they are not very compatible with, that they don't know, that their goals and aspirations are what they are seeking is completely different and even though both parties know one other party had some sort of ulterior motive one other party gets greedy meaning the little side chick the little riffraff him little girl that is giving him pleasure now people based on what the neighbors are saying the neighbors are saying that one particular neighbor said that she saw some unusual people coming that Friday night, or he saw. The person said to themselves, hold on a minute, who is keeping party? Because usually we see Mr. Mayor being visited on the weekend by an unidentified lady and a child. So therefore, that is his regular visit. However, on that particular night, which would be the Friday before they found him on Saturday. There were several purses and the person was wondering and pondering. Somebody is having a party, more than likely it is Mr. Mayor. Because people, me live in an uptown, uptown neighborhood, I mean no. Everybody knows everybody's business, just like down at the lane, down at the garrison. So therefore, whenever they see anybody that don't belong, or they feel as if, is not a regular visitor. They are going to take notice just like spot a lion in the garrison. So therefore, the person said, them realize, say, not only this lady that always comes with the child is there, or maybe she was not there, some other people, somebody is having a party, more than likely it is Mr. Mayor because Mr. Mayor is the only person that gets any sorts of stranger, any sorts of visitor. People like me tell you, say, more than likely this is his ramping shop. Now, people, why would the poor poor trying to keep this mum? Why would the family not have anything to say? Because after all, the husband, the father, their family is gone. So therefore, they want to put out any sorts of alert that if anybody have any sorts of information. Them can help or assist. Why would the poor poor do likewise? Why would the poor poor not know? It is because everybody is trying to keep it mum. Because people, here is the thing about Jamaica. When people have money and them get in a trouble, because of shame, because you're bringing shame to the family's name, the legacy of the family, them no want the public for know. Because more than likely, this man have a side chick. This man had extra marital affairs. This man have some sort of what they would call somebody that is below them that he has come into his ramping shop, his place of joy. They don't want the people for know that. So therefore, people, logics tell us that, listen, 
when somebody lose them life in the garrison, the poor poor might downplay it just another day in paradise. However, whenever any sorts of top businessman lose their life, it is going to be a big case. So therefore, everybody and their mother are going to know. Unless, of course, they might try to silence it. Unless, of course, they are trying to keep it mum. Now, people, here's the thing. A lot of business people in Jamaica, they have money. However, they are bored at home. So therefore, they seek excitement. Some of them, they seek excitement and them have them well-kept side chick, nice apartment, nice car, the Benz, the Bima, you name it, she has it. Nice designer clothes. Some of those side chick respect the thing. Some of them are grateful. However, like most evilous side chick, they are ungrateful. Not only are they grateful or ungrateful for what they get, them get them bills paid, them get money for them picnic. However, they are influenced by outside forces. That means uh, the side chick of a little riffraff man. The side chick is telling this riffraff man, say, listen, yeah man, him live a Narbrook man and him own this business and that business and him give me money every week. And him always have money, yes, him have all sorts of jewelry. Him have this, him have car, him have this, him have that. So therefore, what you think happen? Them plots and them scheme and them come up with all sorts of diabolical plan. How for rob this man? But here is the problem. When them go for rob this man, because this man know how much things him do for this B-I-T-C-T-C-H, this Ketelina, this Kyank, she am alone. She knows say, if them rob him, more than likely, them have to go K-I-L-L him or else they go talk. She cannot face him again. She cannot ask him for nothing else because she is a pennywise and pound foolish B-I-T-C-H sidekick. So people, that is one possible way in which this man loses life. Remember, me never did it. However, due to how I know the street and know exactly what is going on, I would say that that is the most likely scenario. Now people, the next thing is this. This man is in the construction business and people, I have spoken about that on many occasions. A lot of these complex that you see being built in a Jamaica, uptown, not downtown, commercial, residential, there is some sort of illicit cocoa money that is behind it. Everybody wants to diversify their portfolio. Everybody wants to legitimize, to make their money, rinse it, to launder the money. So therefore, them get somebody that is in the business, meaning construction developer, and they become undercover partners. Them split the profit. So therefore, a legit businessman, be it a well-known businessman, is given a proposal and even though he knows that this money is coming from the cocoa or coming from the streets, he is going to turn a blind eye because people, believe it or not, Jamaica is a land of the corrupt. Jamaica is a land of the greedy. There is one thing that people like or respect or love more than them family, more than anything else. It is money. There is a reason, there is a saying, the love of money is the root of all evil. Is a wise man said that is not me. So therefore, them know. 200 BC to 2 million BC, it is going to stand still. The same concept. It is going to stand true. It will never change. As a matter of fact, if people change, it is going to be for the worse. So people, me just say, was somebody cross? Was somebody double cross? 
Did somebody want more than they deserve? Did somebody get slighted by this businessman? People, me no know. All me know say, when things are not orthodox, when things are not how rational we know say, something or something, that means that there's some sort of smoke screen, there's some sort of hidden agenda. Somebody don't want something to get out because they are covering for, for somebody or some people. People, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.